Played out to the left flank. The pressing's intense, and it's paid off. Well, the defence just about came out on top, but they were certainly tested. Jorginho. And that has been slung wide. Skamaka. Doku. Now Castagna. Now it's De Bruyne. Jorginho. Di Marco. Now Fratesi. Oh, good spread. Chiesa. Fratesi. Played out towards the right wing. And he's managed to get free. They're urging him to shoot. Italy looking forward to the break after some very good work in the first 45 minutes. Oh, that's a key interception. Jorginho. To Barella. Now Fratesi. Pellegrini. Pellegrini. Chance for the header! Yes! And the lead is extended still further. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, at one stage, he was being body-checked, Peter, and then the next minute, it's in the back of the net. That's wonderful striking. A case now of complete control. Trossard. That is good strength. Now it's Lukaku. Now it's Doku. There's some great running on show here, but ultimately there was no way through. Barella. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. Shifts the flank. Here's Pellegrini! He scores! And again, they simply do not know what has hit them. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Yeah, and having the thrust to get there is one thing. Having the composure to score is another. Italy tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. And there is the half-time whistle. Who would have seen this? By any yardstick, it is pretty much ideal for them. Yeah, I think a first-half performance that showed attack being the best form of defence. If they're in the face of the opposition that much, then there's little they can do in return. And I'm, I'm not sure how long they can keep the intensity and the tempo up, but it's certainly paid off so far. Italy dishing out what has been nothing short of an absolute mauling. The game is surely already in the bag, but there is plenty for the boys to talk about during half-time. And the action is back on the way. Now it's De Bruyne. 
Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Passing is crisp and sharp. Doku. Pratesi. Turns back here, probably the best option. Italy clearly are trying to establish themselves as a team that likes to retain the ball, Peter. And it's a good watch, Jim, isn't it? Well, it is, and it's always a pleasure for me to see a team move the ball in silky fashion like this. But you know what's coming next, Peter. It has to be with a mean cutting edge. Bastoni. Now to Marco. Barella. Now to Marco. Pellegrini has found the net here, of course. He really is being given no time to think on the ball now. Yeah, they're certainly getting much tighter to him now. At least the message was received. Spread it left. Now it's Pellegrini. De Bruyne. Played over towards the opposite flank. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Fortunately, an hour into the second half. Doku. Fratesi. Scamacca. To Barella. Fratesi. Can he get it through? Well, for a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And that's gone loose. That's the throw. Doku. Jorginho wins the duel this time. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Bratesi. Ferreira Carrasco. And it's De Bruyne. Great defending, strong and determined. Jorginho did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. I just think, though, that was selfish and, and a little uncalled for. I mean, he must have been aware that he had options to his left. And the shot! And he's straight offside. Fass. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Castagna. Now it's Doku. Di Marco was in no mood for any of that. Jorginho. And Bastoni. And Di Lorenzo. Kamaka. That is good pressure, just hounded him off it. Oh, that's well spotted. Pellegrini. And it's Jorginho. Bratesi. Pellegrini. Now it's Pellegrini. De Bruyne, De Bruyne takes control of it and he's on the move. Barella, who set up one goal so far. Time and again they are repelled. Passing nice and neat. Now the finish! He's got a goal! And so clear that one side are so much better. The scoreline entirely justified.
Yeah, it has become ugly for one, but the other is still delivering beauty. Belgium can now introduce the first of their substitutes, Openda, coming on here as broadly expected. Well, this could lead to the injection of energy that might disrupt the rhythm of their opponents. It's become a case of men against boys. Out to the right. Not too much more here than seeing out time, and time is very nearly seen out. Bratesi. Oh, good spread. Trossard. That is good alertness. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, that was a tale of two very different teams. One driven, ruthless, prolific. The other quite the opposite in all of those areas. The result, a very accurate reflection of what we saw. Pellegrini picking up the Man of the Match award, and no surprise there. Your final thoughts, Jim? Italy showed us why it's so important to seize the initiative. Once in front, they grew in belief and, and rarely looked at risk. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.